all right guys so i'm back with another rose drawing tutorial um my last one did pretty good so i just wanted to do like another one a different one and and all that um it's been doing really good it started off for like months and months probably even a year uh, with just a couple thousand views and then like in two months it, it just blew up you know to over 50,000 views so if that one was helpful even though the the commentary wasn't that good but it still did pretty good so if you guys enjoyed that one uh, then I'm gonna do another one and hopefully um, I'm able to help you guys so the reference or where we're getting this rose is actually from a local tattoo shop um, I was going through my phone because usually when I find roses I always take a picture of them if it's online or if I'm out in the street You know if I see a rose uh, Usually I take pictures because it's something that I like to do, you know something that I like to draw So I found this on my phone from a few years ago I can't I can't say what artist made it, but it was from a stencil from the local tattoo shop uh, Avenue tattoos so I actually got a, um, a Tattoo from them and I found this just the other day and I wanted to do this tutorial all right so for this video guys we're just gonna need just your average pencil and just a, a paper you know you don't you don't need nothing else we're just gonna do a basic outline or just the drawing uh, from if you guys would like to um, me to finish it you know coloring and all that then you guys could just leave a like and if we break a hundred likes then uh, that'll be my next video but for now I just want to do a, a simple outline of the rows that we want to do um, as you guys saw earlier in the video, that's how it's gonna look like. So hopefully you guys um, like the video and it's helpful enough that you guys uh, could draw the the rose. So let's get started. All right. So first of all, we're gonna start by doing the this first shape. I'm gonna do it right here in the middle. So we're gonna do this like onion shape. Let me see if I could do it. There we go. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. As long as it looks all right. There we go. So just try to get as close as you can to the way I have it here because we're going to base everything off this shape. So the better that you guys make it, the easier it's going to be to follow the tutorial. And hopefully the video is not long because usually when I do it like live as I'm drawing it, um, it tends to be a little bit longer than normal. All right, guys. So there we go. So now that we have that, we're going to start off by doing um, a couple of the petals. So the first one, we're going to look for the middle and we're going to go up and then just curve it to the right and then we're gonna go up about here so just try to curve the line you know make the lines smooth you know the curves don't make them uh, too straight since uh, there's no straight line in nature right all right so now that we have them gotta say about here and this one's gonna connect back down here um, but I don't want to connect it just yet just because uh, there's gonna be something else right here So uh, we could leave that there. So as long as it looks good, you know once it connects then then we got a good line Kind of went over there too much All right guys, so now that we have that we're gonna start another one So this is the middle so around here doesn't have to be exactly there But uh, this is a good spot and then we're just gonna curve it go up and I gotta say around here, this is gonna be like the tip. So it's gonna be like this part. So this is this line right here. So here, and then we're gonna leave it there. And now we're gonna connect it on this side. So from this one, we're gonna do another one, kind of curves, and then it's just gonna connect here. So you guys could work with the lines, you know, make them like just flow with each other. Don't make them too too round too rough you know just try to uh, make them really smooth like that that's nice I like that all right so now we're gonna do these like the I don't know what to call it all right like that like the overhang I guess so the of the pedal so we're gonna have one over here and then it's just gonna connect back to this one so it starts off like really thin and then towards like the middle where we want it it's gonna be a little bit thicker you know and then it's just gonna uh, fade back into the to the line like that so now we're gonna do another one on this side so it's gonna start around here and then it's obviously gonna end over here also so as long as it flows with this line 
right here uh then it should be fine all right so now we can erase the line going through there and we're good with that so now for the inside so right here i think i made mine a little bit too pointy it's all right like i said it doesn't have to be perfect so i'm gonna round it off a little bit and then we're just gonna do the shape right here so basically a circle and then we're gonna curve this line this line's gonna continue to around here to the middle and then it's just gonna drop down so it's basically a another pedal that's that's going in there we go and we're gonna keep it simple usually you add more you know because the they're tighter in there in the roll but we're gonna leave it just like that so now that we have that we're pretty much done with this other than this line so let me just connect it back in there and we're also gonna add another of these like lips so it's gonna start here and it's gonna end at the top here so it's basically gonna be the whole line mm -hmm making it a little bit too thick i'm trying to keep it try to keep it the same thickness as these other two we don't want to get this uh this pedal all the attention you know I'm trying to just blend with the other three or the other two i mean all right there we go so now that we have that this is gonna be the the ball all right so now we're gonna do another pedal that's going this way so I gotta say around here, we're gonna do it pretty big. And it's gonna go through this, like this corner. And it's gonna end around here. So I'm just trying to get like the feel of it. So we could like work with it. It's just gonna curve. So this one's gonna go downwards. And then this one's gonna go upwards, like the, the curve. There we go. So since this is gonna be an actual actual pedal, uh, like one of the ones that's open already, it's gonna have a bigger shape to it than these. These are like barely gonna be like uh, unfolding. So we're gonna try to do the same thing, but just a lot wider. There we go. And it's almost following the same line up here you guys notice but it's a little bit more more curvy all right i like where that line is so as long as it looks smooth then we can leave it there so now that we have that one we're gonna go for the other two four six more that we need um but it's basically gonna be coming out out of all this area so the the last one's just a lot easier now it's just about up uh, getting them in the right place so this one's gonna go off this way around this area. And it's gonna curve in a little bit. Gotta say to around here. It doesn't go lower than this point. And then the other side is gonna be around here. So let's just curve a little bit. All right, so now we're gonna connect these two and get the shape of the pedal. So on the reference, it actually has this like point right here. And then it just curves down a little bit and then it curves again like this all right there we go might take you guys a couple of tries and like I said before there's no straight line so don't make this straight right here the way I'm doing it is it curves right here it goes down downward a little bit and down I mean that way and then it goes back up and then it just curves. Just try to make the pedal smooth in other words, guys. All right, there we go. So now we're gonna do the other one on the other side, which is gonna be almost like a, um, I gotta say around here. Cause this one's gonna be before. So this one's like comes right after this one. So it's not gonna start off in the same area. So uh, if it was close, the, this one would be um before that one so around here and then here so we don't want to make it 
where this one's bigger than that one so let's just try to make them the same size and then it curves in a little bit and then we can just connect it to this one so I think that's all right all right so now that we have that we're gonna do the one in this side and it's gonna start off around here and here so so we're gonna curve in and then now and then just connect it there we go I like where that how that looks and the trick to placing the pedals like I said before is just trying to make it all work out you know uh, this one not being bigger than than the other ones just trying to make them all into like this circle shape where it looks nice you know um, it looks even throughout it's not awkwardly shaped although uh, if you guys see most roses that's how they are but just um, trying to make it easy for the eye you know to look at it's not something that you want really noticeable because then people are just gonna that's the first thing people are gonna point out so the better the most the even petals that you have the better you know for for drawings that is unless you guys are doing a realistic rose uh, look so now for this side so it's gonna start out around here and it's once again trying to make it even so I say this one around here it's gonna start and then we could just connect it and then just finish it off like that so obviously this one looks a little bit bigger than this one and it might be but I'm okay with it it's not doesn't get your attention right away so I'm gonna leave it looks pretty nice like I said it kind of follows that circular shape all right so now that we have that guys we're gonna do two more so we're gonna do this one on this side first so this one's not gonna go that high compared to this so I'm gonna curve in go around here and then just curve back down so for these we're just gonna see the tip of them. there we go now for this side it's gonna start off behind this one like this and once again it's not gonna go too high and then it's just gonna go back in like that I think I'm happy with that so let me just get an overall look of it and I'm okay with it I don't know about you guys I'm okay so now that we have this we could erase this right here the inside because it doesn't ha uh, doesn't have it doesn't show up and is there any other line we do sorry about that uh, we have this one right here it doesn't show up let me erase this one a little bit better and I think that's it um, we might want to change this one a little bit so for this one I want to make it a little bit more following uh, this pedal instead of this like instead of the pedal coming out of this uh, part we want it to look like it's a little bit like this shape is first in other words so it could look like it's coming out of it not like this I don't know if I'm making sense hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying all right so now that we have the actual rose we're gonna start by placing a couple um, a few of the leaves so I like I want to place one right here so we're just gonna do a straight line and I'm gonna try to make it I gotta say the length of the, the petals and then we're just gonna make this like leaf shape so either side should be even or at least close to it I want to place one you guys could place any leaves any guys anywhere that you guys want um, as long as you guys do it this way you know it's a lot easier uh, wherever you think it would look better then go for it and then I'm at another one here so once again I'm gonna do it this one and usually the the leaves are one is bigger than the other one you know they're usually not the same size uh, but like I said I don't want to get too much attention to that although it might help to be honest but I want to make it all like simple just to make it a little bit easier for you guys to uh, to follow all right just get the same shape so we could either place them here 
or up here. On the reference, it has them here and here, or around this side. I think it has them here and here, but I want to place them over here. So, um, a way that we can know where to put them is just following the shape of the rows. So, uh, wherever it feels like it has less, or where it's um, the heavier side, for example, here it's uh, on this left side because it's a little bit uh, lower than the rest and it seems like this one's a little bit bigger than uh, this one and that one so the rose tends to lean a little bit more this way um, just by looking at it obviously it's not but we're trying to keep away from having everything leaning to the same side so that's why I placed them here kind of like to even out uh, the look of it so another place that we could put them is maybe up here or here it's here just have it like um, all the weight on this side so I'm, I'm gonna have it that way um, the reference like I said has it up here but I'm gonna place one here so once again just do a straight line like this and we could place as many as we want but I think um, maybe three of them looks okay I might place a fourth one right here and I'm you know what I'm gonna change Everything I said, I'm gonna make this one a little bit smaller. I think that's, that looked nice. So, make this one a little bit smaller. Like that. I think that's nice. Kind of like just makes everything work well with each other. Alright, so there's different ways on making the leaves. I'm not gonna go too much into detail with that. But I gotta say, the most simple way to do a leaf. Uh, following this shape right here would be just to do these like straight lines and just try to uh, place them even evenly you know like the space the gap and they get a little bit smaller and then just mirror the same thing on the other side mirror <laughs> I have trouble saying that so now that we have that like right here let, let's connect them they're not gonna connect you guys could connect them, but let's not connect them. Uh, at least for this video. Uh, so every place that it connects, we're going to start from the point. We're going to connect it to that. And then we're going to go a little bit like off away from the leaf and then go back down. And every spot that it connects, we're going to keep doing that. So basically we're adding a little bit more leaf. Like that. Same thing on this side. Like that. And then we could raise, we could connect them in some areas, but just having some areas that don't connect, some a little bit longer than others. And it's just gives it a little bit more detail. So maybe this one's not all the way in like this we're gonna keep this center line I just keep going like that and this is I think the closest look or shape to the actual uh, roses and once again try to space them evenly like all these if they're the same size then uh, try to space the gaps evenly that way it doesn't look too like weird or off same thing all right guys so we basically got our rows finished now um just go over your drawing if something looks a little bit off then uh, go ahead and change it if you guys are gonna color it go ahead um, just try to add more than one of the same color like a different shade um, for example if you're using uh, obviously the most common color is gonna be red if you guys are using red try to use like a darker red and if you guys can um, so basically have a light medium and dark shade of the same color just to make it pop off a little bit more you know give it a little bit more like dimension i guess i don't know how to uh, say it but basically give it a little bit more shape to it so um 
for the darker areas would be like a little bit where in the inside where there's um, the light source is not hitting so for example like this would be dark all this area would be a little bit dark and right now I'm just I'm doing lines I'm just trying to follow the shape of the actual pedal just to give you guys an idea so now we could add a line right here because this pedal's curving a little bit so it has like a a curve to it the same thing would go on this side on here actually that's a nice uh, line to do so I recommend to do it just because this uh, area is a little bit too too simple too wide so adding these lines kind of breaks it up a little bit and just makes it a little bit better so just look for the middle and then just color where the shadows would be the darker areas so here for example would be a darker right here is gonna be mostly uh, right here at where it connects just because since it's like curving uh, here it'd be a little bit more darker because it's uh, this pedal right here is overlapping this one so if the light source is on top then this area is gonna this pedal is gonna cast a shadow over this one Um, same thing on this side so this one's gonna be mostly dark and the same thing on this side and like I said I'm right now I'm just trying to follow the shape of the pedal just to give it the there is where it might be dark and here for example the same thing this one's overlapping this is going to cast a shadow uh, down here the same thing for this one maybe right here um, here again it's going to cast a shadow this one as well because it's like going in a little bit and then obviously in here it's going to be completely dark because there's nothing in there and we basically got our a row so i would do this these areas darker a little bit darker the less i think the better in some in some occasions so try not to add too much uh, dark red if you guys are we're gonna do it that way um and then the lee the petals will be like a regular red and then some areas is gonna have a highlight so just do it a little bit lighter uh, for example the tip here around here all these areas are gonna have a, a highlight um, this whole pedal right here is basically gonna be a highlight like right in the middle you guys could just do this like a regular a uh, red um, highlight here uh, maybe highlight like small one here and then this one also these that like uh, loop around are gonna be or that, that have a lip are gonna be mostly highlights so you guys could if you guys want to do it like a straight up tattoo style um i would leave them white because if you guys notice some of the tattoo um style roses have this area white so you guys can leave these white so yeah guys so from here on go ahead and go for it the same thing for the leaves um like try to do more than one uh, shade of the same color just to give a little bit more contrast and yeah guys so i just want to thank you guys for watching once again if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you guys want me to do a part two on how to on how to color it or just show you guys the way i would do it uh, then leave a like if we break 100 likes uh that's gonna be my next video so i just want to thank you guys for watching leave any feedback let me know how far you guys got if you guys got this far uh, let me know if it came out good if there's something that you want me to like help you on you guys could always leave a comment i'll be happy to reply and at the same time other people might have a a, a tip for you guys so i just want to thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next tutorial